All right, so here we have this and that. Run along. All right, so what I didn't tell you was that my friend borrowed this box to test out his new 18 inch sub. He bought an 18 inch sub, typical. Typical. So what he's done was, that wasn't even English. What he did was he put this in his living room. Typical, typical, typical. He tested out his 18 inch sub in this box. Now his sub needs a box that's probably about like half this. So where my fingers are right there, that much of a box. It's not as big as the sub that I have, not as powerful as the sub I have. So his results were probably similar. Oh, you're back out again. Uh, to, this, to the woofer I have, it's not a sub. The woofer, the 18 inch, and when I put it into this box. So the results were poo, and uh, that's basically that. So he needs to sort his own box out. I've uh, sent him to a box building website where he can put in his uh, dimensions and stuff and um, yeah, that stuff. So anyway, just got this back after two days, two whole days. To be honest, I didn't really mind him taking this. He could have taken it for a bit longer. Um, haven't really been watching much stuff on TV, movies on my computer even. Now, he also heard how this sounded in my living room. He was shocked, amazed, surprised, and most of all, shocked and amazed and surprised. I mean, it made him buy an 18 inch sub. So he's trying to recreate what I have here with his own and it's not working. I guess I must be lucky or I know what I'm doing. All right, so it's, uh, this box is kind of slippy. There's not much grip. Um, I can hold onto the port, I can hold onto this. I wish I had claws to grip with. That would be really cool. So I'm gonna need some assistance. Pancake. Pancake. She does listen. Peanut actually responds a little quicker than she does, but that wasn't bad. Well done, you. You know your name. All right, so here we have the sub. And for scale purposes, here we have my foot. And here comes Pancake. Yeah, some people were wondering if my cats scratch my speakers. If they don't, I do. See that line there? I did that. That's the only scratch that this has. I mean, it's not a scratch, it's more of an indent. Basically, my camera tipped over. I sort of just went Also, some people were confusing shadows for holes. They thought the surround had separated from the cone because of shadows. That mark right there actually looks a little worse than it is. It's not even bad. This thing is solid. But as you can see, there is nothing wrong with the surround. And uh, that's that. So yeah, there we have the SMD. Still putting work in and running fine. And here we have the pan to the cake, running around, sitting down right now, but always running around, working fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is bring the box back and place it right there. Old Sony speakers, by the way, EQ'd. Also, I've put some stuff on the inside of them to bring down some of that peaky mid bass. Now, if you're wondering about this wiring, why it's so thin, well, I don't need a lot of watts coming into this house. I just need a few, like maybe, I don't know, a thousand. I don't need four thousand, five, six, seven thousand coming into my house. Also, the insulation inside this box made a big difference. I was going for a particular EQ curve and uh, it really helped. Looks like she's put herself into park. Peanut. It's peanut. But yeah, this box gets down to around 14, 15 hertz, something like that. Works really well for movies. And here we have it back in its box. And as you can see, the surround on it is fine. Just a little mark right there. The people that were seeing gaps in the surround are actually just blind. All of them. Just gonna do this for the thumbnail. 
And I'm going to make it look as though I've gone into this. All right, so now I'm going to make sure this is working. I'm going to connect this to it, to the amp that's connected to the sub. I'm going to put this on the floor for now. That is where the volume was on the bass amp and that's usually where the volume's at for movies. Alright, so it works. Now I'm going to put it back. Alright, so the speaker's back. You're not going to be able to hear this, but that there is 14 hertz. I think it actually gets a little lower than that. But the volume's not very high. And also the doors are shaking. Kind of sounds like there's a washing machine going off. I'll put the camera on the box. 14 hertz. More shaking. Don't know if you remember the video in which I was talking about harmonics, but if you were paying attention, you should be able to spot the harmonics right here. So those people that were saying, oh, I didn't realize my iPad or my iPhone had that much bass. It doesn't. It was harmonics. Okay, so this was hopefully just a short, quick video because I was putting this back together. Didn't really know what else to do. If you've got any video ideas, let me know in the comments. If you want to see me do anything, etc., let me know. 